Okay, so this is a drawing that I did with uh, colored pencils on black. And then what I discovered, I pulled out my Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 crayons and thought, well, I'm going to see if I can add another layer of, in of interest over the pencil. So I'm tipping the Neocolor crayons off the brush, and this is a white. And as you can see in that moon to the left, that was done with Neocolor. The rest was done in pencil. So when you add the Neocolor, let me zoom in. Let me show you what happens here. Adding the Neo Color over the top with your water brush. Adds a really bright white pop. It's not like paint. It's almost like wash actually. Um, and then I just wiped off the white and then blend it out. And look at how it just makes that moon even better. I really, really love it. I just, I, I can't say enough about how much I love Neo Colors. You're probably getting tired of hearing me say that. So now I'm going to take a flesh colored Neo Color and see what happens when I add some to the face. Let's see what happens here. Same thing like with the moon. If you just blend that over, it blends right over the pencil and just adds another dimension to that. Blend it in a little bit here and look at that. It's really lovely. <clears throat> so I'm going to go over and add a little in some places just to add highlights to this. I mean the bulk of the drawing was done in pencil and I like it, but this is just adding something else on top. I, mo I imagine you could do the whole thing in Neocolor if you wanted to. But look at how that just adds flesh color right to this and brings it to life. Smooths it out. It's a lot smoother than the colored pencils. I like it. It's really adding something to this face, so I'm just adding some layers here of Neo Color. Not super thick. The more you pick up with your brush, the more opaque it's going to be. So if you want it to be a transparent layer like this, you just don't pick up as much on your brush. The more product, the more thick and solid the color will be. Look at how lovely that is though. Look at adding that to her neck. Look at just bringing that to life. So another way of using your Caran d'Ache Neo Colors. Try them over a pencil drawing just to add a little bit of highlights. Great, I love it. And then I went through and I added some swoops of blue on her shirt and her sleeve. That's Neo Color. I added some blue to her hair, the white in the moon. And it really is just bringing this drawing to life. I'm going to add a thicker amount to the nose. to just make that nose pop. Makes it more three-dimensional look at. Oh, so awesome. I love Neo Colors. I know I say it a lot. 
So play around. Another way of using your Neo Colors. Try adding them to a drawing. I'm going to do. Um, here I'm adding some pink over here just to add another little bit. I don't want it to get too overworked, but. I do like the result. So I'm playing around in a black page art journal. It's got um, some 100 GSM thick paper and it's in black. And I'm using my Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 crayons. And what I'm doing is just uh, using my water brush to go in and create some flowers and I was playing around to see what those neo colors would do on black paper and I really like it. Um, because your first layer is opaque it's the more the more product you have on your brush the more solid and opaque it's going to be. The more translucent it is the lighter it is for with water. See this has got a lot of water in it so it's going to be more transparent. So if you put down that first layer a little bit transparent and then let it dry. I'm doing some kind of oh sort of lilacs. See that first layer is just very transparent. This is dried because it dries really really fast. So if I pick up some more and pick up quite a lot of product with my brush right off the tip of the crayon and I go back in, now it's opaque. So you can go in and add another layer and you're going to get a really nice amount of dimension. It's going to look three dimensional because you're going to have dark with the black showing through. You're going to have lighter and then you're going to have some opaque. So see how that looks three-dimensional. So the more product that you pick up off of your Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayon, the more opaque it'll be. The less product, the more translucent it'll be. So if you pick up a lot, you're going to get a nice solid pigment color. And by that I mean it won't be so um, well, you know, translucent, transparent, you can see through it. This is a little, I'm still a little transparent. Let me zoom in closer. But if I pick up more product, the more you pick up and the thicker it is on your brush, the less water you have squeezed out of your water brush, the more solid that color will be on your page. And you can put down layers and let them dry. So we're going to let that dry and I'm going to come over here and do another one. I'm just doing kind of like little daisy type leaves, petals. And I'm just basically putting down kind of a triangle shape and then pulling it towards the center to make a little petal. And then making sure that the edges of it are rounded out. Like that. I'm just doodling around doing some flowers. I'm trying out to see what colors look good on black, um, which ones look better when you layer them, what do they look like when you blend them. So just playing around with a little bit of loose, loose play with some floral images just kind of gives me a chance to play around and see what these neo colors are going to do on black. It's always fun to step outside the box and use tan tone papers, black papers. So test out your supplies on different types of paper, different weights of paper. It's always good to play around with your supplies Use them even for purposes they're not intended for. You'll never, you never know what you can achieve with that product until you push it to its limits and do something unusual with it. Now look at these, how pretty this is for like a, um, a lilac. 
when you layer it, when you let it dry and you layer the lilac, the purples on this black just look fabulous. It's really pretty. I like it. And water brushes are fun and easy. You can use a regular brush and a cup of water next to you. Um, if you've never tried a water brush, you'll probably never want to use a cup of water again because water brushes are just so easy to use. You know, you just have the water inside the chamber and you squeeze a little bit and it moves it down into this cartridge and it gets your, your um, brush part of it wet and you control how much you squeeze out to how much wet is going to be, you know, how wet that tip is going to be. But it just makes it so simple. You don't have to have a cup of dirty and a cup of clean water. And when it, when you're switching colors, you just put it over. I use a little um, sponge and I just squeeze a little bit out and brush it and look at it's perfectly clean. Now I can go to another color. So can't get more simple than that. So I'm just taking some different purples here and I'm going to take a little bit darker of a purple. This is the, um, it's the lilac actually. It's kind of pretty deep for a lilac, but I'm going to put a little bit of darker purple in there. Oh, so pretty. You know me, I get excited about art. It's just too much fun to play around and create stuff. So I'm just dabbing in some darker purple into this, into these lilacs. I've got some that you can see through and some that are more solid. Oh, look what they look like up close. If you could see that in person, I don't think it conveys very well on camera, but in person it's just gorgeous. You can see it a little bit better when I turn it that way. So I have a plan for these doodles. I'm going to, you know, with an art, art journal page, the fun part is you can do whatever you want on it and it can be, you know, just scribbling and doodling and creating fun things. It's just, it doesn't have to be even to show anybody else. It's just for you. Now I'm putting some orange in the centers here of these just to see what they'd look like. That's cute. Look at those cute flowers. Oh, so cute. So <coughs> grab out those Neo colors and get a water brush. Get some paper or an art journal with black and start to create and see what you come up with. You could do beautiful uh, beach scene at night. You could do um, a starry night. You could do um, Van Gogh's starry night. Would be gorgeous with Neo colors on black paper. Just do your version of Van Gogh's starry night. It would be wonderful. In fact, that's a really good idea. Ooh, I think I want to do that. That would be fun because these are just so pretty. They just blend so nicely. You can make beautiful soft cloudy skies. You can make waves. There's all kinds of nice things that you could do. I like it. So I'm just kind of building up this orange flower back here, putting a couple layers on it to make it a little more bright and solid. I'm going to put a couple little petals behind. Like that. I think I'm going to add in some red orange and see what that looks like. Let's go right in the middle here. Well, that's pretty. Look. Very pretty. So you'll have to just play around with this and see what you think. Let me know in the comments if you try it, what you think of using Neo Colors on black. Let me know what you think. Let's try a white. Let's do some white little daisies. Let's see what white looks like. I'll bet it'll be beautiful. 
when I used white on my little moon for my um, moon girl, I love how the white made the moon really stand out and pop. So some white daisies are probably going to look really pretty. Oh yeah, the white's pretty. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do kind of the semblance of like a baby's breath sort of thing. White is very pretty. Of course, white on black, so it really stands out and it just pops. Very fun. Okay, and for these little yellow flowers, if you make some yellow circles like this. I've picked up quite a bit of product as you can see so they're coming out very very opaque and then you just kind of drag your brush down towards the center and look what happens you end up with a cute little flower. So you're putting basically just dots of paint down. Let's do some over here. Some dots put little five little dots and then come back in and drag just light handedly drag that little center in and you end up with a cute little daisy flower I like the look of this on black because it's just so different you, normally we do everything on white paper so doing black is just really a lot of fun. I'm going back in on these and adding a little more yellow so that first layer of yellow is going to make a nice highlight shadow. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take a green and I'm going to put some stems in there. So I'm picking up a green and I'm going to go in and just do some really simplistic stems to just tie these flowers in like they're coming from somewhere. They're either growing in a field or they're in a bouquet. I don't think it really matters. And I'm not going to go crazy with layering those stems because you see them enough. When they dry they'll be visible enough and that's all I want is kind of just a simplistic resemblance of stems. You could do the same thing with some leaves. You could put some leaves in there. Same way. My color's a little bit too dark for this black paper, so let me pick something else up here. There we go. Put in some leaves. Notice I'm not overthinking it. I'm really just laying them in kind of simplistically. Doesn't have to be wild and crazy. Okay. Look how that's taken shape. I love it. Isn't that cute? Okay, and then to finish it off, now to finish it off, I'm going to take my Posca pen with a fine point, and I'm going to just really do some random sketching. Oh, 
right over the flowers like this. See how that just makes it pop. I'm going to put some white centers in these. Look at how that came together. So pretty. Let's do some white over here with our baby's breath. Just some little simple dots. Okay. I like to be, as you know, very free-handed with my with my sketching very light-handed and just um, loose. I'm not following each petal specifically, I'm just making them very loose. So there we go, I like it. It's cute, it's fun. Very whimsical. Now it's ready to be, add a saying to it could go in and add a pretty saying to it and then I have one more last idea okay for my last part of the idea I think I'm going to do some splatters so I'm going to take my water brush and I'm going to get squeeze out or an ample amount of water onto the end of my neocran get it wet brush over it so it gets nice and color onto it and then I'm going to do some splatters on this page With my water brush. I'm using a turquoise blue and that's it. Oh love it. Look when that dries that'll be just so pretty and so fun something different and then I'm gonna pan a saying on there with my uh, with my Posca pen and this art journal page will be done. So that's what you can do with your Neo Colors on black very very fun so thanks for stopping by if you're interested in um, any of these products if you don't have um, Posca pens or water brushes or Karen Dosh Neocolor crayons there will be a link below where you could purchase those so um, I appreciate you stopping by and appreciate all the support on my channel Share it. Please like and share. Make a comment. Show me what you do. Tell me how you like the black, the new colors on black. And then stop by again to see what the next project's going to be. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I ended up doing with my Posca pan. I ran around the border and I did the saying, until you change your thinking, you will always recycle your experiences. And I repeated it twice so that it goes all the way around as a border on the page to complete this art journaling page. And always remember, art soothes the heart.